It's Mike back with some more history and interesting local spots with Ev. Um, here we are. We're on Penwell Road, Hutterton County, New Jersey, near the Morris County line, near the intersection of Hermit's Lane and Penwell Road. This was a trail here. I laid this one out when I worked for Hunterdon County with uh, with uh, Tom Shepard and Tom Lizzie and others that uh, were working with the county. And uh, we tried to lay out a cool trail that would connect the main section of the Point Mountain Reservation with the, uh, the uh, north section here. And uh, has a nice switchback. Goes up here to a higher elevation. Has some good uh, seasonal views. You see the turn blaze here. So the trail comes out onto the road. Unfortunately, around the time that I was laid off, they pretty much got rid of the entire um, parks maintenance staff and nobody did much with trails anymore. But you can see here's a marker. The trail does continue. Um, actually, it's, it's better than I've seen it. Um, I understand Tom Shepard's been doing a, a whole lot of sort of backwoods stuff. And I've seen a really nice job done on some of the stuff that was let go for a while. But, uh, doesn't need a, a little help back here, but still passable. So this is the, the White Trail is the connector between the main Point Mountain Reservation and the north section. And it's a nice little spot that has some obscure history, some of which I haven't found a whole lot on yet. And it goes right up here along this brook. This is called Beatty's Brook. It's not named on any of the uh, any of the maps like the USGS ones. Here, have you ready to walk now? Hey, look at this. You can walk. Yeah. See the brook? You pointing at it? Here, now hold my hand, and we're going to walk over this way, okay? Come on, Ev. So it passes through this pretty nice wooded area, and there are some old logging roads and such through here. It's really a beautiful brook, but this area, hang on, Ev, let me switch hands, okay? You can hold this hand. You can see here's some... Uh, some old pastures and such. There used to be a house over here. Big step up on the rock. Yeah, good job. Big step down. There you go. Uh-oh. Over here, there was a house. It was called the Gruen House. Not really an historic structure, but it was occupied into somewhat more recent years. A ranger used to live there. But you have a lot of evidence of old pastures through here stone walls and such and then you have also over here a little opening that would have taken you from over by the Gruen house down via a path toward the creek here now as you continue down this path this might have been not just a stone row but it might have been part of a dam as we come down further, you get a little evidence of, of a former mill site. I don't recall if I read it or if one of the old timers locally told me, but my understanding was there was a sawmill back in here at one time. I did not see anything on this particular site on any of the old Atlas maps but it would have to have been very old. And it's possible that this might have been a works that was in use prior to the 1860s and 70s when those maps were made. So here you can, you can obviously see, looking back up, because this wall approaches the Beatty Brook this way. And over here, you have this very obviously man-made depression so this might have been uh, a milling area of some sort. It's clearly an old bottle dump. 
because uh, there's still some old ones in there, tire. So it might also be that this was a spring house because you do have a spring coming out of the bottom of it. Then the trail makes its way down from the edge of this. Very nice example of a giant skunk cabbage over here. But then in this area, you have got another divergence in the creek again, where to the right might have been some sort of mill, whereas uh, the main creek flows over this way. And Ev very much loves, loves creeks now, so I try to bring him up to all these things all the time. He's in his Crocs. Right, Ev? Let's, let's, let's walk. The trail makes its way out onto this little island here. And uh, this is a student conservation association project a few years ago. They placed these giant blocks to make it a little easier to get across this as well as the other flow. Then the trail makes its way up onto that slope. And it can be followed out to the Orange Blazed Ridge Trail and the rest of the reservation. You're doing pretty good, Ev. Can you come over to me on the rocks? Come on. There you go. There you go, hold my hand. He's getting really good at this. Come on, you're doing good, big step, big step. Okay, I'm gonna pick you up, okay? Anyway, there's some nice big skunk cabbage. If anybody knows anything more about this site that I might not, you know, leave me some comments here because, uh, uh oh. Uh oh, he got his feet wet. All right, thanks for watching. Until next time.